baguettes, rolls, sticks, sub rolls, and a whole host of artisan breads. The Piantadosi Baking Company has been baking a long list of products since 1916. My grandfather, Salvatore, uh, came to this country uh, from Avellino, Italy, and settled in Everett, Massachusetts and soon realized that there was no bread in the city of Everett. So every morning he went to the North End, bought bread and sold it door to door in Everett. And did that for several years, um, was very successful at it. Then his wife Mary had an idea. And she said, hey, you know, I think we could make more money if we baked the bread ourselves. And the Piantadosi family has been making bread ever since. Um, so my grandfather baked it but still delivered and my grandmother tended the shop, and they had three sons, my dad and my two uncles. And at an early age, they were there before school, after school, weekends, vacations, holidays, and that's how it started. Joe Piantadosi and his two cousins run the operation now. We bake in Malden, and we ship internationally. We service uh, mostly restaurant chains. And with the little big bakery, we're small enough to customize, but large enough to do big volume. And some of our customers include um, Hard Rock Cafe, Uno's, the 99, Friendly's, uh, Kelly's, and many, many others. Each day, they bake more than 800,000 pieces of bread, using up 500 pounds of flour. While staying true to their original recipes, they have managed to stay current by adding whole wheat and multi-grain breads and adding gluten-free bread to their line. But their newest addition is a taste of old world Italy in this downtown Winchester Piatidosi bread shop. But here at the bread shop, the baguette is, is a great item. We, we created some breakfast rolls, as we call them, um, a mocha chip, a cinnamon raisin, cranberry raisin, the seven grain, brioche. The bread is baked here on site. The smell alone draws in a crowd. People come in, which I love when they come in and say they're making a veal marcella tonight for dinner. What type of bread would you pair with that dinner? What do you recommend for a certain pasta dish? And uh, that's exciting. It's nice to be able to help someone plan their menu. And the folks at Piantadosi say there is a science to bread making, and that has to do with the ingredients and the timing and the temperature. But ultimately, they say it comes down to the art of bread making, and that only comes with experience.